Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to place a video inside the text in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get started. All right, so before we start, make sure that you're on the All Panels workspace. And to do that, you can click on these uh, hidden items and look for All Panels, right? If you cannot see it here, uh, click on Window at the top, click on Workspace, and click on All Panels. And there you go. All right. Now this um, workspace uh, has the uh, has these details at the right side, where can we can basically or uh, easier for us to drag and drop all the uh, effects in our timeline. All right. So that is the purpose. Uh, that's why I'm using all panels workspace. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. To start, I'm gonna drag a clip in our timeline. So in our uh, project panel, we have here an assets folder. Click on that and um, have a. Uh, I have a video here, click on the video, and we're gonna use uh, the 001 sunset timeline here. So to create a new sequence, I'm just gonna drag and drop it here to our new item, drag the clip here, and then you'll get a new sequence right in right in the path, all right? Now we have 001 sunset, okay? So I'm gonna hit the plus sign uh, to make it uh, enlarge, all right? And I'm gonna add the text. All right, so to add a text in our timeline, all you have to do is to click a file, click on file, click on new, all right, and click on a legacy title, all right. So you can rename this, uh, let's rename this text title sky, all right, click OK. Our cursor is already on the text um, cursor or a text tool. So if you click on the if you click on the screen, we can uh, type in right away the uh, the word sky. All right, and to double click it, all right, to, to highlight everything, and then here on the right side, all right, let's uh, look for uh, legacy titles. All right, oh legacy titles uh, properties. All right, so that we can manage this. All right. Although you can manage it here, all right. I wanna I wanna manage it here to have uh, more option for us to uh, to customize the uh, text or the titles. All right. So I'm gonna make it large first here. Um, the uh, position under properties, uh, the uh, legacy titles. Let's go to uh, font size. I'm gonna make it large. All right. By just dragging this uh, this blue. Uh, to the right, all right, to make it increase, to, to make it large, okay, I'm just dragging it like that, and I'm gonna make a different uh, font, I'll try to look for this font, I want to get like a bold or a larger font, there you go, that's good for me, Arial Black, now, uh, let's uh, make it, I want to put this guy in the middle of the screen, all right, so to do that, we can scroll down here, there is a legacy uh, title action here, all right, click on that, and then you can do the uh, center, uh, center it horizontally, center it vertically, all right, like that. Cool. You just uh, double click at this and click at this, and then you will uh, put in the middle, all right. Now, um, I want to make it larger, so let's go back to legacy properties and under properties, font style. I want to make it a little bit larger, super large, all right, there, like that. And I want to put back to title action to make it center again. All right, cool. All right, now, so we already have the sky title here. Now, uh, it's not yet in our timeline, okay? So it's already on the project panel here. So uh, to move it to our timeline, all we have to do is to drag this um, uh, title, all right, to our sequence, okay? I'm just dragging right like that. There you go. Now it's already in our timeline. Okay, I want to increase this or uh, prolong this uh, length. All right, to match the, the 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 video. All right. Now, so we want the, uh, the 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 video. All right, to put inside of our text. All right. So to do that, we need to go to Effects panel, and we need to search for Track. Uh, track Matte Key. All right, so you can find it under video effects, under keying, and then under there is a track matte key. So all we have to do is to drag this effect in our uh, in our uh, first clip. All right, make sure that you drag it in our in your video. All right, that you want to put the background. All right, don't add it to your, uh, to the text. Add it to the video. Okay, so I already added to the video. All right, here. All right, cool. Now to uh, to make uh, adjustment on the settings double click on this and then click on effects control all right of the video scroll down 
there will be the track matte key uh, effect that we added on the uh, video. And then un under matte, all right, we have matte here. It's currently on none. So I'm going to change this none to video. So this the, the text is currently on the video two, all right? So I'm going to change it to composite using video two. All right. So after I do that, as you can see, the sky or the video is already in the back of our uh, of our text. All right. So I'm gonna play this. Let's see what what will happen. All right. All right. There you go. And you can just simply double click this text, and uh, you know you can you can uh, go to a video. You can go to legacy title properties to make it increase. But uh, you can also uh, use this. Uh, just double click it. Make sure that in the sky, and just double click. All right, you can uh, increase it or decrease it, but um, there's a different ways to do that. I can just drag, double click on this, uh, just sorry, just one click, and then up until you see this blue frame here, when you can drag this, all right, by increasing, all right, I'm just dragging it to increase, and then you can also drag this one to move it here around here. So simple, so just drag and drop, uh, easy, all right, without going to the uh, properties, and then there. So I'm happy with with that. All right, you can just play it again to see the final results. All right, so let's go and try to play it again. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go large screen and play it. All right, so let's go to full and let's try to play it. All right, and that's how you add. All right, and that's how you add the video inside of the text in Premiere Pro. All right, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.